Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a candle haul from, it is either Black Friday or Cyber Monday or some good sale after that. I honestly, I can't remember. I have had so many packages show up at my house. If I could show you, I have towers and I mean towers of boxes and I have boxes stashed everywhere in my house. I have boxes stashed under beds. I have boxes stashed under couches, behind chairs. I have boxes in plain sight. I mean, I have gifts everywhere. I did a really, really big Kohl's order on Black Friday and then I placed another order on Cyber Monday. And then I think I did a couple days after that, I placed another order. So I'm not really sure which order these, <laughs> these came in. It came on one of these days with um, a Kohl's order. So I have Scentworks candles and some Sonoma candles. Not a very big haul, but I do wanna share it with you guys because these are my first ever Scentworks candles. So Scentworks is, um, in case you don't know, Scentworks is Harry Slatkin's brand that he has in Kohl's. It's supposed to be a little bit, I wanna say, a, I want to call it more affordable, but it's really not that much more affordable because their sale is two for 50 or two for 30 is usually their sale, which $15 for a candle is interesting because you can get his Homeworks candles, which are his QVC and like HSN brand candles and, you know, Ulta now, you can get those for about $15 a candle. So if this is supposed to be his more affordable line. I'm not really seeing how you're getting that because like I said, you can get his Homeworks candles on clearance. And I actually have purchased some Homeworks candles on clearance. So I'm not exactly sure where he's getting more affordable. I don't know. If you don't buy things on clearance, then yes, these definitely are cheaper than the Homeworks candles. But honestly, I personally would never pay $47 for two candles. And then nine times out of 10, you have to pay shipping on QVC unless you catch a free shipping day or whatever, but $47 for two candles is like, mm, no. But that's not the point of this video. This video is Scentworks. So I purchased, um, like I said, I have two. So I'll just show you the two that I got and then go into depth. So I purchased one of his octagon shaped and then one of his like normal round shapes. So I'll start with this one just because I'm holding it. So he released these, hello, I'm in the viewfinder. I'm in the, I always call it the viewfinder, the reflection. So um, this is his holiday collection. This is holiday cheer. So these are three wicks. It's 14 and a half ounces. And the scent notes are on the bottom. So this is sparkling orange mimosa, lemon peel, peach nectar, and hibiscus blossom. Now I was very interested to pick this one up because I love orange. It's my most favorite, but I do not like peach. So I was a little bit nervous for this one. Um, like I said, octagon shape. As you can see, they are a little messy. This one's a little bit messy. The glass is really nice. It's very, very heavy, very, very, very thick. And I almost, I gotta give them a little bit of credit here. Because if you pick this, if you are shopping in Kohl's and you pick this up and you're not like a candle fanatic or a candle, you don't know that much about candles, you would think that this is a super, super luxurious, expensive, heavy. I mean, it, it, it's heavy. And what I mean by that is like, meaning it's more than 14 ounces. Like you're going to think if you're not really a, a candle person, you don't know to look at the ounceage and then compare it to like the thickness of the glass, blah, blah, blah. You would not know that this is only 14 and a half ounces, which is the same weight as a Bath and Body Works candle. You pick this up and this is heavy. This is like some thick, thick glass. So I got to give him credit because if you're just shopping, you're going to pick this up and think, damn, this is luxury. You're getting a lot of candle for $15, you know, two for, you know, two for 30 on sale for 15 bucks. You're going to like, that's a good marketing strategy is if, is if a normal person picks this up, they're going to think, yes, this is heavy. Glass is really pretty. Um, packaging is cute. Holiday cheer. I like the kind of like wreath Christmas balls. The lids, I have to, the octagon shaped glass is... It's nice, it's different, it's pretty, but these lids really are kind of a pain in the ass because you have to line it up perfectly to seal it correctly. I mean, I it'll seal, but it just, it looks like kind of wonky if you don't put it on correctly. So, suction cup lids, these are nice. Now, let's talk about the wicks on these bad boys. Oh no. 
This does not look promising for me. I don't know if I should go in store and exchange this for one that I can see the wicks on, but this is frightening. This is extremely frightening. And, you know, it kind of pisses me off because if you're gonna, Harry Slacken is like a very well-known name in the home fragrance community. And he puts his name on this and I just am like, why would you slap your name on this? This is zero quality control whatsoever. The wicks are not evenly spaced. They're not even really in the center of the candle. Um, and it's just, I just can't believe the quality control on this is really low because he has a ton of money. And, you know, if you're going to create these brands, at least, you know, care about them. You know, if you're going to put your name on something, at least care about them, but whatever. Not the, not the point. Yeah, the wicks are very, very frightening. Really, really not excited to do that. But white wax, they look very thin. It's very concerning that they're super thin like that. The scent, the scent is nice. Um, you definitely get like a bubbly note from that mimosa. You definitely get peach. Um, at least my nose can pick out peach since I'm not a huge fan. It is bright, it's very citrusy. I think it would have been really nice without the peach, but that's just my personal nose. Am I gonna burn it? Yeah, I, I do like it enough to burn it. Do I need backups of this? Not as of yet, because that peach does really come out for me. Yeah, you get a bright citrus note followed by like a peach note. Um, so I, I'm happy that I decided to get one in one because I wanted to compare burning how you know the octagon shapes burn compared to this one and again this is great marketing it's the same amount of ounces but it feels really really heavy and really nice i like this packaging a lot um this is actually like raised on the glass itself so this is not very cheap to make i don't believe i don't believe it's a foil wrapping i think that the glass itself is actually colored you know this gold color again embossed the lid is nice the lid is embossed as well. And then of course you have the scent notes on the bottom. So this is vanilla bean, buttercream, sponge sugar, and sugar crystals. Oh yeah, the scent is sugar cookie. I mean, and now if we're just talking quality control, the label's off center, whatever. I mean, that doesn't bother me because it's at the bottom. But I mean, there are bubbles in the label. Um, they're kind of hard to tell. You can see it there. Um, the label is crooked, as you can see. So just as a first impression on the scent works, it's just, it, I feel like this is kind of like a lackluster project. I feel like Homeworks is his baby and I get that, you know, he makes way more money on Homeworks candles than he does on these. But I just have that mentality of like, if you're gonna put your name on it, at least care about it, you know? And I don't know if he's as involved in scent works or if some, if he, you know, he has somebody else in charge, whoever's in charge and is doing quality control, they gotta go. Because this just is like, if I was going to give this as a gift, I would be kind of bummed out that the label is crooked, the bubbles, you know, I, I just, I would be kind of bummed out about the labels. This one is just fine. This one looks beautiful. This one, with the, because it has a sticker label, I think this, oh yeah, that's a sticker label too. But this one is way easier to tell that if it's crooked because it's square. Like you can clearly see that this is not lined up with this. So I don't know. It's just, it. It's not as impressive. You know, I see people online rave about Homeworks candles and I have purchased some, but I haven't burned any yet. But they just, they, they just rave and they pay the $47. And I'm like, okay, well, damn, he's got to have something going on. And I have burned candles from the Slatkin era when he was at Bath and Body Works. I haven't burned nearly as many as, you know, I didn't burn a lot because I was younger, but I have burned them. And they were, they were nice. They were great. But like, this is just like not impressive to me. Call me a hater, but it's just not impressive. So regular suction cup lid. The wicks on these are, again, not evenly spaced. They're a little more centered than the other one. Um, again, they're very, very thin. Also, there's a lot of, um, actually, no, there's not. I was going to say, there's a lot of like residue again on the sides. But honestly, I think that might just be because you know, that might just be from shipping or whatever. And, you know, you can't really control your shipping outlets, but you can see there's some residue. There's some spacing between the glass and the candle. The candle is not loose by any means. Like, actually it is kind of loose. It, 
it is loose. Interesting. When I turn it upside down, it moves a little bit. But since this top is fluted, fluted like this, it won't come out. But interesting. Very interesting. We're learning things together. But anyway, sugar cookie. Yeah, the wicks are a little bit better on this one. Still not as impressive as they should be. I mean, if you're going to, I would never pay $30. I think these are original. I don't even know the original price on these. I'd have to look it up. But um, I would never pay for these if they were not on sale. Thankfully, Kohl's is always on sale. So you got that going for you. But as for the scent, it's a nice, lovely sugar cookie scent. I, I don't get anything spectacular from it. But honestly, I enjoy this type of scent. I think sugar cookie is like one of the best scents you could burn. I think it's universal. I think 90% of people would like it. It's very company friendly. It's very cozy. It's very yummy. And this is a really nice sugar cookie scent. I don't get anything. I don't get one note over the other. Yeah, it's just, it smells like a sugar cookie. Very straightforward. And I don't mind that. I, I like, I am a basic bitch kind of scent. And I love vanilla. So this is really lovely. I'm I'm very much looking forward to burning that. I'm actually probably going to burn both of those in January to see if I like them, if I need more. I might do a review. If you guys are interested in a review, let me know. Um, I know a lot of people have already reviewed them and like I'm kind of really late to the game, but I always, always say I like to try things for myself. I did not pick up anything from his fall collection because I just... It was sales weren't good enough. But now that the holidays are around, the sales are a lot better with like coupons and stuff. So we'll see. I, I'm probably, gonna, like I said, I'm probably going to burn both in January because I have a feeling that these will stick around for the better part of January considering he has, um, his fall scents are still in store. You can find a couple. Like I smelled the, um, the French pumpkin, the chai, the apple, um, I forget what else I smelled, but they're still in store. So, and those are fall releases. So I'm going to, I'm going to say that these are going to be around for the better part of January. So that's why I'm going to burn them and see if I need more. I have a feeling I'm probably going to like sugar cookie a lot as long as it performs well, because it's very strong on cold. Um, holiday cheer is very strong on cold too, but I just think it, it might not be my type of scent with that peach, but that's just personal preference. Okay. Enough of scent works. We'll get into those when I burn them. All right. So I have two Sonoma candles here. I have now these, oh my God, you guys, these came looking a hot mess. So I have holiday cookies. It's sweet vanilla, cookie dough, and buttercream. I love Sonoma candles. I've talked about them before. I just really love them. I think they perform so well, but like, look, Kohl's has got to get their shit together with like their warehouses because this is a, this is a mess. If you order these to give as a gift, I would never hand this to somebody as a gift. Look at the glass. It looks like this thing has been through the ringer. Now, thankfully I am only going to be burning it for myself. And I personally, do I enjoy this? No, because it's not very uh, aesthetically pleasing, but it is a candle. It's going to burn down anyway. So it is what it is. I'm just not going to be able to get cute pictures for Instagram <laughs> because it's looking ugly. It looks so beat up. Oh my goodness. But the wicks on these, and sometimes you have to be careful with Sonoma wicks, but I have never had any issues. These look okay to me. They're not perfectly evenly spaced, but I've never had a pulling out issue with Sonoma. Never ever. And this is a nice, lovely vanilla scent. It's not necessarily cookie. I definitely get more of that buttercream in this yeah this is definitely more buttercream than it is um like a sugar cookie like this truly smells like sugar cookie this smells like vanilla with some buttercream so but i mean i like both on cold i prefer this one but you know we'll see we'll see how it goes and then the other one that i have is fall in love this is fresh apples woodland sage and cedarwood Look at this one. You can really see it because it's colored wax. I think, is this the one? When they came, I'm like trying to drink them. When they came, they um fell right out of the glass. But that was just because it was cold. But oh, opening this one smells so good. But this one looks freaking atrocious. I don't even know how that happened. It looks like it's like glue on the sides, but it's not because it fell right out of the glass when it came. The wicks on this one are the, you know, the metal centered wicks or whatever. Those are, I don't know what's in the middle. This one has the regular like rope like wicks and this one has the 
the thin dark centered wicks oh my gosh but this scent I burned it in the fall and if you guys saw it I saw my empties video I just love this I needed a backup I absolutely needed it oh man I can't wait to burn this next fall it's so good oh man that sage just gives it a bright greenery note and the, the oh that cedar wood oh my gosh I talked about this enough I just can't stop smelling it. it. It's so damn good. So damn good. Oh, you got to get that scent. And it is just it's so delicious. All right. I have talked over 15 minutes about four candles. Somebody tell me to shut the hell up. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you guys, not crazy um, Black Friday hauling wise. I did really buy a lot more like gifts for other people. I didn't really buy that much for myself. But now that it's post Black Friday is over and all the sales are happening, I'm buying a lot more for myself. So I have some Homeworks candles coming in, um, some Bath and Body Works candles coming in. So be on the lookout for those hauls. Those will be coming shortly, soon enough. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys have tried Scentworks. Have you seen a difference? If you have burned them, do you like this style jar? Do you like this style jar? Let me know down below. I really, really would love to talk to you guys if you have burned them and get your opinions on them. But yeah, and let me know down below if you want a review on either Holiday Cheer or Sugar Cookie or a review on anything that you've seen on my channel. So please, please let me know down below. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.